All right, guys, I just wanted to uh, show you a little uh, demonstration here of how I use the cookie scrap grease. Uh, this is first building differentials on an X-Ray XB4. You can see right here that I have a good bit of grease around that grease channel in that out drive. And um, what that's going to do is that's going to... Uh, that's going to seal up that differential out drive so your diff fluid cannot leak through. So I'll be right back here once I get to the next step and we'll see what's going on. Thanks. Okay guys, I made it back here. Uh, just to show you here, this is one of the major uses that we use uh, this grease for. And uh, what that is, is that's the diff o-ring. You can see it right there. Um, it does have grease on it. It does not have a whole lot of grease on it. All you want to do is just put enough grease on it to where it shines. And once it starts to shine, that's all you need. You don't need to lop it on. All right, be back in just one sec. Okay, guys, keeping with the theme of the diff uh, build, you can see here on the crown gear of the diff, you can see that I just put a little small bead of cookies crap here on this uh, surface area right here. Now, what we're going to do is, sorry about that. What we're going to do is we're going to take the diff gasket and we're going to put it on here and line it up with the holes. Now, I'm going to do that. And then I'll be back and I'll show you how to treat the other side. And all this, what this does is it keeps your diffs from leaking. It keeps your diffs a little more consistent because they're not seeping oil out through the different areas of the diffs. So let me get this gasket put on and then I'll show you what I'm doing from there. Thanks. Okay, so right back on this same diff I was working on, you see that I've got the gasket on there. One thing from the earlier video that I did not say was that when you do put that grease on the face of the crown gear, when you affix your uh, diff gasket to it, it makes it very good because it doesn't move at all. You know how sometimes they move and you don't get the screws lined up right? You screw up your diff gasket. Well, that helps with that also. But you can see I just put a very tiny bead of grease around the other side of the gasket. And what that's going to do is it's going to help the gasket seal to this diff cup right here so anyways that's going to be pretty much on the diffs right there i'm going to have one more coming here in just one second okay guys i got this diff built here you can see it's all put together uh hopefully by the other videos you've seen how to use uh cookies all purpose rc grease otherwise known as crap um the one thing everybody loves to do is they love to put it on the ring and pinion gears. I'm going to spin it around here so you can see it. And honestly, this is about as much as you need. Um, once you put it on there, it's not going to go anywhere. It's going to be there when you open your diff case back up. It may not be as white because once it gets worn in, it turns clear. But it absolutely will not fly off and it absolutely will not have... You will not have any issues with your ring and pinion gear. So that's going to just complete up how to build a diff with cookie scrap grease. Hopefully y'all found some new uses for it here in these videos. And I appreciate all the support. Thank you. All right, guys. So moving on here. Um, this is another thing that we found with the grease here. Cookie scrap grease. All purpose grease. Um, we found that in bearings... It works amazing in bearings. Um, say, for instance, these bearings here, they're stock x-ray bearings. Well, right there in the manual, they tell you right there. They say, please use bearing grease or oil. Well, for the most part, I just use Mobile One Super Synthetic Oil in these bearings. And then, you know, I said, hey, let's just try the grease. And, man, it, it works so good. Um, you only have to put, like I hope you can see there, you only have to put like a little semicircle of grease on there after you've pulled the seals out 
using an X-Acto knife or a hobby knife, just be careful with the seals. If you're running bearings like um, Avid Revolutions that have the one seal on them, uh, what you'll want to take note of is that in the Avid bearings, they actually come with packing grease inside there. So if you want to treat your bearings with cookies crap grease uh, on Avid bearings, you'll need to pull the seals out using the X-Acto knife, then just take an air compressor and blow all of the excess grease out. It seems like a big hassle to do this when you're building an RC car or when you're changing your bearings, but I can tell you right now, it about doubles the bearing life. Also, if you ever find yourself running in like a mud or rain or the elements of any type like that what this grease does also once it gets rolled around through the bearings uh, over just normal running um, it, pre it it creates a really good barrier for uh, you know for the balls and the bearings and stuff like that so this is just one of my things that I I really love the grease for myself and uh, you know hope that helps